Let's get religious. Nah, no joking. Um, want to talk today about religious properties. Right, um, following on from my Alternatives to Chateau's videos, I thought I'd do one about uh, religious properties. These are all being deconsecrated for obvious reasons. So, uh, what I've got here is a selection of properties for you. Uh, a good dozen, if not more. Uh, I'm going to start with a couple which have already been sold. Uh, one I know roughly the price of, one I don't know the price at all of, but they are really good examples of what you can get. After that I'll be going on to the other properties, I'll start at the high end of the budget and working down to show you the sort of places you can see. Stay with me to the end though because you'd be surprised the couple I've got waiting at the end there. Right, so here we go. This is a property I wanted to show you, um, just to give you an idea of what can be found. Uh, this is a basically a monastery, which was obviously a monastery at one point, and was bought by the town of Paris to make a teaching centre. They then decided to sell it a few years ago, and it went to auction. Uh, if I actually zoom in on this... Literally, we are talking about all of this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 houses just there, plus the Abbey itself. This place is massive. Nicely set in the woods there. And you can see obviously you've got the church part to it. Uh, it was a, looks like a medical centre at some point as well. But it's literally massive, and this is down in Corres. And I'll show you where it is. This is where it was. Let's see on the map here. It's literally all of that. And it actually went to a private buyer. So Corres is down here. If I come off the map a minute, get a better idea. So there's Limoges. Uh, that'd be Brive the Gaillard down there, Bordeaux's there. So it's down here. And that went to market at 750,000 euros. Uh, it went for something similar to, to that price. And it's actually 16,000 meters square of livable space. Livable space? Livable space. But I thought I'd better show you that one because it's actually a pretty amazing buy. But if we move on to another one, lovely looking property as well. Can I actually enlarge this? No, I can't, so I enlarge it on my computer. Uh, if I come back to this, no way near as big as the last one, but absolutely amazing. Looking looking down over the valley here with the lakes there, uh, really characterful. Look at that. You've got the arches, you've got the columbage here, the half timber work there, arched doors, stone work, the old traditional slatings. Nice advancement here. They've actually done like a, a mix of old and new. New thinking, but old construction techniques. That is like an amazing place. Once again, this one is sold. Unfortunately, I actually have absolutely no idea what price it went for. Uh, I did try and find it on the mats, but I couldn't. Oh, just a minute. That's one good thing. That's a good example of actually an agent not using his own photos. He's used photos from the actual owner. Price-wise, like I said, no other idea. Looking at it, it could be anything from 700,000 to 2 million. I don't know. Uh, any idea of price on here? No, it doesn't mention. It actually had uh, 12 hectares of land with it. Yeah, no, and to show you where that was, here you go, it's just here. It's looking down over lakes here. And if I zoom out and turn the map off so you can see more of an idea where it is. There, literally what's up, less than an hour away from Paris. So it probably went for quite a bit of money. But a lovely spot and certainly the place I wouldn't mind living. Anyhow, on to the properties now that I do have prices for. These are actually currently on the market. Now this one here is a, an old convent uh, near Arras in the north of France. You can see here actually, once again, got the chapel there, you've got the main building, you've got some outbuildings. Very historical. You can see, looking at this one, for example, is a good example here. 
It might be common, but it's very much similar to a country home or a manor home. Manor home? Manor house? Nice wine cellar there. So you've got the bars on the door there. Pond. Uh, stable block. Mmm. And I'll take it away taking that photo. All that land must be with it. And what do we actually have in land here? We actually have uh, 750 metres square of building and there's six hectares of land. Six hectares, that's 12, 15 acres. Uh, and there's also 300 metres square of outbuilding. Price-wise, we're talking about 905,000. But it certainly could be quite a place. Situation-wise, this is right up in the north of France here. So you can see, uh, there's Amiens, there's Calais, there's Paris. But certainly another interesting property. But on to the next one. This one here is a 18th century convent in Normandy for sale with an agency called uh, Espace Typique, which seemed to have quite a few un unusual properties. So I actually like this photo here. Why they use the other one as the main one, I don't actually know. I like that front part there, but the rest of it seems not that posh, if you ask me. Lovely big building. I find this one's missing a bit of character, if you ask me. If I want something historical, it's more like, like an 1850 convent as opposed to, I don't know, 14th century or 15th century or whatever it is. So there you go, and this one is on the market for four, four, four. Where do you see the price? Down we go. Yeah, so we actually got uh, it's in full team, which is Calvados. I'll show you in a minute. 450 meters square of livable space, eight bedrooms, five bathrooms, 2,300 meters square of land, so a good half acre, and that's on the books at 832,000. Where is it situated? You can see here. Uh, there's Paris. This is normally up here. It's not very far from Cannes, so to speak. Car on the half, and it's situated in the village of Saint Pierre en Orge. If you're a British, easy access to Cherbourg uh, and Richelieu, or even driving up to the actual Calais to, to the tunnel. If you're American, flying into Paris. It's not that far, it's probably about, ooh, about two, somewhere between two and three hours' drive. But I'm sure there's pretty, pretty rapid trains there as well. Anyhow, on to the next one. I actually quite like this one. Uh, I found it with two agencies, but I found this agency had the better photos. So this is actually down in the 46, which is up down here, if I remember rightly, I think that'd be the lot. Uh, near Fijac, Bouillon de Doyne, there's Brive de Gaillard, uh, Martel. Now I'm pretty sure that's a lot from memory. And the actual property itself is got on the market 675,000, 77 rooms, 47 bedrooms. I'm not sure what the bedrooms are like though, <laughs> depends how true it is. 3,120 metres square livable space. I think that's livable space. And land of 18,000, that's just 1.8 uh, hectares. Uh, it's coming on for five acres. So let's have a look at the photos. So obviously, lots of character there. And I actually went with this agency because they had the better photos. Another agency had on the market a lot of pomp about it, but the photos, well, they needed to get a wide angle lens, I think. So, old Roaring Castle in the background there. Not too sure about the roof. It's a slate roof, but it looks a bit bumpy, so to speak. Oh, that's actually Pantile there, that one. Uh, if that is slate, it's looking a bit rough, so it would need, I'm looking at it, I would guess. So it's like a half cluster. Can you say half cluster? Love your staircase. Okay, seen better days, but it's still there. The vaulted rooms. 
that's a bit more modern so the industrial kitchen at some time and again with 77 bedrooms I think you need it certainly a lot of scope there you've got the church there as well I think it's what they call a bedroom so hmm you might want to bring it down oh god yeah there's a corridor it's like dormitory well not even dormitory it's actually cells or whatever see those rooms down there all the bedrooms going down here as well well I'm pretty sure they are on here but it's certainly for the size of the property that's cheap um need to see what work needs to be doing and also what would you do with it all mainly like those bedrooms there is actually go back to the bedrooms quickly for you all that corridor shot let's say there you go there's another corridor shot there but that's, not, that's what I'm looking for if these are petition walls then, then you actually don't knock them into two or not two into one sorry and you could be more interesting but I'm guessing they're pretty pretty small those rooms but that's how convents were isn't it like I said and that's down in the lot down there and on to the next one this one like I said, I classed them in price. This is the full-blown church. You can actually buy the full-blown, deconsecrated church. I've got one or two of those, actually, that I found. Not too sure what you do with it. One thing they have to be careful, though, with these sort of projects is quite often there is actually what is called a cahier de charge or basically it's actually you can buy it but you can only do certain things with it and not others for well obvious reasons to a certain extent uh, they don't like you making it into uh, nightclubs or uh, whatever they'd rather keep it actually something historical but it could be a restaurant could be something like that why not even a house a house you know what I mean accommodation full blown church in Camp Air, and it is actually situated right here so this is what we, the French call uh, a seminaire or seminary and the actual chapel is this bit here so I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there's no land with it and to give you an idea that's the whole town around it zoom out even further so this is right at the far end of Brittany there you go can't get much further uh, west than that so let's go back more into France and see what we got this one here, this is further down south, quite a bit further down, down south. Uh, I chose this one, it looked quite nice. Uh, this is an old convent for sale. Unfortunately, once again, on this site, I can't actually enlarge the, the photos. So, small garden by the looks of it. But I like this one because it looked like it had a lot of character. If you like those quirky sort of properties, which, well, I think you do. If, if you're looking for like a, a chateau or a convent or something like that, you like the quirkiness to a certain extent. It's part of it. And this one certainly looks interesting. So it's 624,000 euros, uh, 271 metres square of all space, and it's got 750 metres square of land. And this is down in Tournon and Dagenais. Uh, down in the, I believe that is the Lot and Garon, but I might be corrected. It's one of the, it's either Lot or Gar uh, Lot of Garon, Lot or Tarnay Garon. I always get confused with those three. They're too close with similar names. But you can see here, it's down here. There's Toulouse, there's Limoges. We're zooming a bit. Let's get rid of this minute. Boom. There's Tournon uh, Dagenais. Which Tornon and Dagenet is one of these actually hilltop villages. So I imagine it's probably up on the hilltop somewhere. I uh, haven't actually managed to locate it because you can see here. This is the old town. You come into the roundabout and you actually come up. I imagine it'd be up here somewhere. But I'm not too sure. But there's a few of these hilltop towns uh, in that area. Nice area to be. It's going far enough south that you've got all the good weather, but it's still far enough north from the Mediterranean coast that it's still relatively green. So a nice area to be in. And you can see here you've got Cahors there, you've got the Villeneuve, Montauban, uh, Agen, uh, Gordon, Bergerac, 
uh, side of the calendar. It's a nice area. On to the next one. This one here is a smaller property. Uh, oh yes, I know this one. Uh, this is uh, it's more of a, a small chapel or such, but a chapel, chapel which has been nicely done. And six hundred nine thousand euros are asking. One hundred fifty meters square. Sounds a bit expensive, if you ask me. To initial thoughts, but it says an old Roman chapel apparently. And this is one thing. I love these agents. Um, some French agents still haven't actually mastered the idea that you have to do landscape photos, not portrait. Because when you actually look at the photos here, you don't actually see a great deal. Well, you do, you see enough, but they're not quite right. And then you actually go back to the beginning there, where everyone the beginning was. There you go. Open it up. They've done vertical photos, portrait photos, um, but you can see a lot more. So, lovely entrance staircase there. See a bit more of the outside there. Bedroom, kitchen. All looks fairly simple, like I said, for 609,000 euros. Hope it's in a nice spot. And not a great deal of photos. I love French agencies. 609,000 euros, and you've got five photos. And this is in Bouldon. Uh, how much? And it's not far from Avignon. Uh, six rooms, three bedrooms. Um, don't really worry about these maps they'll never show you where they are exactly on these maps the French don't like doing that and this is where Bordon is so yeah fair enough it's well fair enough it's still a bit expensive if you ask me but you've got Avignon there you've got Nîmes there uh, Salon Provence Marseille Montpellier so you're getting pretty close to the south, south coast there and I don't think that is the actual situation of it. That's the mark I put on there to give you an idea where it is. But certainly, interesting property. Shame they don't do a few more photos. So, onwards and upwards. Well, actually, onwards and downwards because the prices are going down. Well, we're back up to Brittany here. Um, this is a presbytery. Uh, 400 metres squared, overboard declared. 15 rooms, 11 bedrooms, on 1,786 metres squared. So, uh, less than half an acre of garden. Let's have a look at the photos. Okay, so here we have the photos. Lovely looking place outside, certainly. All clean and tidy inside. This makes me think more of the Maison Bourgeoise as opposed to actual a religious edifice. It's, like a, it's a presbytery, so. All very nice. Uh, the agency is advertising it as being under Rostrenen, uh, but I should know this agency well, and they have this mad idea of actually telling you the town, which is about 25 kilometres away from where it actually is. But it is in Brittany, definitely, that's sure. Got an outbuilding there as well. And like I said, that's actually on the books for. If we get back up here, I'll close that now. Uh, 591,100. And. 400 meter square level space, 15 rooms, 11 bedrooms, uh, constructed in 1850, uh, three toilets, one terrace, oil fire central heating, DPE, CNC. Given their dues, they actually do a bit more information on there, which is nice. But a bit of a boring house in a way compared to others. Lovely house, but boring. Like I said, if, you want to go, if you're looking for something a bit quirky or unusual, that's more just a very nice house. And Rostron, as I mentioned, this is in Britain, it's pretty much central. But like I said, uh, with this agency, it's probably 25 kilometres away from there in one direction or another. Don't ask me, I didn't actually write their rule book. On to this next one. So this is an abbey in Normandy near Fair. Uh, L'Abbey de Belle Etoile, they even tell you where it is in this one. I actually did show this in another video, but I think it's such a lovely property. Um, see here it's actually it's a complete renovation job it's been abandoned but it's actually you can see the cloisters there this is dating back to whenever this was it's founded in 1215 the actual um abbey so I imagine you actually have the, this house here and the cloisters going around there and all this is gone but it doesn't look too bad an order for somewhere 
which has been abandoned. Seems to be in the middle of the woods, 500,000. And how much land does it have? Can we find the land in here in an easy way? No. That's one of these sites. Um, so let's have a quick through here. Da, 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 da. Blah, 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 blah. History, history, history. Uh, 1.1 hectares. So over two and a half acres. And this is situated in Normandy. See, there's Paris. That's the UK up there, obviously. Outside of Flair. Flair and I've actually found it because I, I, I do this, like doing this sort of stuff. There you go, Abbey de Belle Etoile. There you go, there's the extra building. And that's been part of the clusters. Obviously, the old building used to go right around here. Certainly, like to go and have a look at that myself. I might even take a day out and drive up there. I'm planning to do some more videos. Uh, uh, we're actually starting to take on prestige properties now with Agence Newton. Uh, in Newton Prestige and so we will be doing some more on-site visits and I'll be doing night videos when I'm there next property this one is down south uh, department 30 which I can't remember oh, it's a guard so yeah the guard department guard G-A-R-D uh, property on the books with Leggett's 185,000 185, 185 meters square it says two rooms and one bedroom I think I got that slightly wrong. Uh, ex exterior of 625 metres square, so not massive. Looks like a little chapel. It's on the books at 395,000 euros. If, it's, if it is two rooms, let's have a look. Right. There you go, this is the front of it. Whether it's all those buildings, I don't know. There's two rooms, that doesn't seem right. Um, let's have a look here. Okay, we've got a terrace outside. We've got a dining room, certainly. Uh, that's a sitting room. I imagine the dining room and sitting room is the same area. Looking at it. That would be, yeah, be the laser doors. And that's the laser doors there, so the dining room is just here. There you go, dining room, sitting room, open plan kitchen. It might be two rooms actually. Bedroom, badly taken. Looking down, uh, it's got an open plan bathroom onto the bedroom. I'm personally not too keen on those. I'm probably not the best looking person when I get, when I get up in the morning. And so yes, it's actually it is two rooms, and it's not even detached. 395,000, if you ask me, they're asking way too much. Where is that situated? Situated down here towards Avignon. So I didn't actually find the exact location, but it's in this village here. And right by the Cese River. There you can see that's down towards Montpellier and Marseille. So down towards Mediterranean. Still think it's expensive though, if you ask me. Next one. Working down in prices now on 385,000. This is actually a property has been sold, but they've actually left the price there, so we know it's sold at 385. 1,298 meters square, whether that's of building, so it's a big building. 38 rooms built in 1920, or at least that's what they say. Um, land of 1.2 hectares, so coming up with three acres. Have a look here. So here you go. This is the house. It's not too. Uh, I'll go back to those first ones because so, it's actually not too clear what the house is. I think on the first ones, I imagine it's pretty well all that there. That bit there, I think. Or possibly that bit there. Or possibly that bit, that bit, and that bit. Wouldn't be good if uh, French agents did floor plans. So not a great deal of character there, if you ask me, besides it's got a chapel. But certainly a big house. I think a lot of these um, 
religious properties can actually be quite popular with people who actually want to do art studios or or that sort of thing but certainly that's actually yeah so sold 385,000 and that is is situated down here as Leon there's Avignon and in the Ardèche or certainly on the edge of it if not in it and did I find it yes I did here's the actual village that it's in no, I didn't actually find the actual exact site but this is the village it's in but this village is actually split into three little chunks as far as I can tell but it gives you an idea where it is you see what the country size is like once again Marseille Montpellier they're probably two hours drive something like that Lyon's up there on to the next one. Oh, this is a bit of a weird one <laughs> look at these photos I just have like a big open room with vaulted ceilings all over the place. And pretty well, no windows. It's a religious bunker. I don't know. They've got cars parked down there. So you can get cars in, certainly. It's a religious bunker carriage. Not too sure what you want to do with this one. And I love this. BSK Immobiliary, they haven't got one single photo of the outside. Because obviously you don't want to know what the outside is like. You just want to look at the interior of like a religious bunker. This might have been built by the Knights of Mon Monty Python. The Knights would say Nick. And where they actually made their holy hand grenades. I don't know. Brother Maynard, bring up the holy hand grenade. It's very bunker-esque. But anyhow, me being me, I found it. There you go. This is what it looks like. So. Not too impressive, if you ask me. I'll take you up there to go to the bunker side. And if we go over here a bit more, that's where the car's going. It's even got a force house on it on there. Probably the owner, but it's it. So, not what I'll be looking for. Um... Even if it is situated, well it's not far from the other one actually, situated down towards Montpellier. They seem to be a lot less religious down towards Montpellier, they're selling all the chapels and churches and things down there. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Oh yeah, I didn't say what price that one was. Because believe it or not, this holy bunker, €286,000. I'm not even sure it's got any land looking at it because it's actually surrounded by buildings and tarmac. So not what I was going to say it's got a thousand meter square of land but I'm not too sure where I wouldn't be paying that not me anyway on to the next one. Oh, this is a nice one uh we're actually well we're outside we can't remember this is down towards Toulouse as it says there uh, an old convent if you look at the photos here up see so a lot more character, quite quirky. I think the owners look like a bit quite quirky. How about that for a staircase? Go down there, up there, down there. Great views. I get this probably needs some work on it, but the people do live there at the moment. Okay, once again, not a great deal number of photos, but it's certainly got my interest going anyhow. In and what do we know about it? Well, it's sitting on... Oh, the postcode is 32600 Il Jordan. 284 metres square building, five bedrooms, two bathrooms, 900 metres square of land, which isn't massive. But we're only talking 249,000 euros. Uh, and this is like a, a 17th century uh, convent down towards the Il Jordan, which the Il Jordan is actually... There's two Il Jordan in France. This is the bottom one, let's say. So down here, you're not very far from Toulouse. So there's the Il Jordan. And there's Toulouse. So 
also flying international flights into Toulouse could be an interesting property for someone. And as we move on down, uh, we're back up into Brittany. And this is a, another church. This one's actually an Anglican church uh, for sale in the town of Dinan, which is, Dinan's actually very popular. Dinan's been very popular with the English for quite a few years. I'm, I'm not talking uh, two, three decades. I'm talking uh, at least a hundred years, if not more. It used to be an actual spa town for the British. This is actually an Anglican church. Do we still say deconsecrated when it's in Anglican? I don't know. Or have they got their own word? Anyhow, so talking about 182,875 uh, livable space, we have 530 metres square and it's sitting on 200 metres square of land. The actual West, the West of France MO site here is a bit weird. If I actually open the photo, weird, they go really big and it will muck around with the image. So I have to keep them small here. But you can see this is a full blown church, really nice tower there. Got, but you've got some lovely views there. Inside, well, it's a church. Uh, not too sure whether that's electrics or what. How can electrics be that complicated when it's just like one big room? Oh, there's some sanitation there as well. Mmm, glory hole, nice one. But anyhow, on the market, 182,875. This, this property, this church, has actually been on the market for you know, two or three years. It belongs to the actual local council. And once again, they're actually setting rules about what you can do with it or not do with it. And I think that's probably what's actually holding up the sale. I've seen the light. They should just say do what you want with it, within reason. Like I said, that's in Dinon, which is in Brittany. Uh, Rennes International Airport, Nantes International Airport. Uh, Scharberg, Wisdom and St Marlow ferry ports or Roscoff, uh, sorry, yeah, Roscoff here which goes to Plymouth and from there you're about I think it's about two and a half hours on the train to Paris if you get one of the fast trains but anyhow there you go a bit of a round up of what you can actually find in the way of religious properties on the market in France in 2024 obviously horses for courses not everyone's going to like living in an actual full blown church you can do some really nice stuff with the small chapels. What I'm going to do at the top here, I'm going to stick a link to a video about a colleague of mine who's a builder over here in Brittany who did a full renovation, I mean full renovation, on a small chapel and he did a great job on it and he actually won a prize in a national competition for his work. So have a look at that video, it certainly will boost him a bit. And well there you go, my roundup of religious properties. Shall I put this back on? I don't know, maybe. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.